I am Kukulu, and this is the third season of the Ultimate Community Lock Challenge, but my first season doing it. Uh, you may ask, what is the Community Lock Challenge? It is a two-year-long challenge in which Nuzlocke Forum's community members attempt to not only complete a Nuzlocke, but to complete eight Nuzlocks in a row. That is right, we are going to start in Generation 1 and end in Generation 8. I will be doing a standard Nuzlocke, which means I only catch the first Pokémon in each area, I will not be catching duplicate Pokémon, I will be naming every team member, mandatory, and of course if a Pokémon hits 0 HP if it faints, it is a sad farewell for my fallen comrade. I will be making an exception to the one per area rule, because if there's a shiny Pokémon I will be getting it. I I think I've only gotten one shiny Pokemon naturally in my whole entire career of playing Pokemon, so... Yeah. Let's begin, shall we? Let's see. Oak here has many things to talk about, wants to know about me. I will be a girl, and my name is Kukulu. So we'll just put that right in. Kukulu. Perfectly. Right, so your name is Kakulu. That's right. And I will name my rival Ulukak, because I've decided to struggle against my shadow self in this. <laughs> Ulu. There we go. Uh, note that I will be speeding up time for us every so often, because I often struggle with coming up with names and making decisions. Nobody wants to watch me training, grind through a hundred Pidgeys, you know, all that. But I will, uh, I will bring us back for normal speed for catches, trainer battles, and untoward events. So, here we are, in my room. Let's go get my potion. Oh, we'll take that potion for sure. Alright, let's head outside. It's a beautiful day for catching Pokemon. See ya, Mom. Ooh, let's uh let's check my trainer ID. I like to be a proponent of the unknown in Nuzlocke, so I like to let my, the last number of my trainer ID decide which starter I get. So, 1 through 3 is Bulbasaur, 4 through 6 is Squirtle, 7 through 9 is Charmander, and 0 means I get to choose, or move to the next number, depending on how I feel that day. But as a number 2, we will be getting Bulbasaur. Hey! Um, let's also change some of my speed. I don't... Let's go to text speed. Oh gosh, sorry about that. Fast. Everything else is fine. Change our type. No, we'll just stay how we are. Okay. Alright. Uh, welcome to Pallet Town. Quaint beginnings of a story fraught with highest highs and lowest lows. I'm not very good at Nuzlocke, so I've never won. So we'll see how I do <laughs> with eight of them. I'll have to dr be really careful. Alright. Oak is not gonna get us. L let us get torn to pieces by a wild Pokemon without a partner. So, here we are. Brought us to his lab. Ulukak is fed up with waiting. Ulukak? Oh, right, I told you to come. He's like, I don't remember you. I'm old. Alright. So, he's only got these three Pokemon left. Ulukak wants all of them. But we just want one. We want the Bulbasaur. Bulba. Bulbasaur. Yes. Alright. Oops. There we go. Do, 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 do. Yes, I want to name my Bulbasaur. And I'm going to use my uh, name generator here. I'll look for a good name. Have any grass names? Where's my grass names? I've been using a elemental air or elemental name generator. 
They have Earth and they have Life, which is kind of... So I'll go with one of those for Grass, I guess. Earth and Life seem pretty... pretty good. Unless it's a Pokémon that's like a fungus and then death. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna call him... Spyrus. Spyrus seems like a good name. Let's call him Spyrus. Spyrus. Or Spirus, maybe, is how I would say it. Spirus. Okay, Spirus. I'll take this one, then. Charmander. So Bulbasaur is often considered the easy starter Pokemon because it can barrel through both Brock and Misty's gems. Um, and it's beefy. Oops, I'm having trouble. <laughs> Let's look at what Spirus has for us. Relaxed. I don't remember what relaxed is. I think it's one of the nothing burger ones. But that's okay. Uh, Spears has good defense and special defense, which will help us out. Got good HP. He's a he's a good little beefy dude. It's gonna help us out. Um, he does so. The one thing with Bulbasaur is that later on in the game, they tend to lose steam because they don't have a lot of power to hit hard enough to avoid getting hit back, and in Nuzlocke that can be trouble. Um, it does tend to drag out battles a little bit. Alright, so I always like to start with... Yeah, yeah. Um, I like to start with the Growl to make him less good at stuff. Only did three anyway, so we're good. Alright. And then we will tackle. Bulbasaur has a name coming from Bulb, which is an underground fleshy storage structure that some plants have, such as onions and tulips. Uh, they grow from that bulb, and then his suffix is sore, which is a suffix derived from Greek soros, meaning lizard. So he's a bulb lizard. Uh, Bulbasaur's design is actually based on a frog more than a lizard. And the bulb is sort of similar to a bulb from a lily plant or an onion plant, but we will hopefully get him leveled up enough to see him bloom into something quite different. Ooh, we got a critical hit. That's nice. Good job, Spiris. Charmander actually gets his name from a portmanteau of char to burn and a salamander. The salamander is actually an amphibious creature, but it has a connection to fire because they were also they would live in dead logs, and people would take the logs and take them home and burn them, and the salamanders would panic, but be okay for a little while because they have wet skin. So people were like, "Oh, salamanders live in fire." And that's how salamanders got connected with fire. All right, so let's go. Let's let's get going. No reason to stick around here. Let's blow this popsicle joint. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get our first Pokemon. What will it be? Um. Oh, we aren't gonna get our first Pokemon. I forgot. Doesn't matter because we do not have any Pokeballs. I haven't played in a while. Let's talk to him. Ooh, Pokemon Mart. Gonna give us a free sample. Yes, thank you. We like free samples. So it doesn't matter if we fight anything here. Uh, none of these count, in my opinion, until we get those Pokeballs. Um, I'm gonna show this training, but in future training, this is travel and might be interesting. But uh, future travel and training, I'll probably speed up a bit so that we can not have to spend hours watching me trade blows with Pidgey. This person, this one is not a trainer, is it? No. It just teaches you how to jump. Uh, 
Uh, while I'm speeding things up, I will also put up titles and artists of whatever music I have playing. Which will probably be all royalty-free music. But, you know, it's still good. Yeah, and we'll speed up from here, probably. Well, I didn't need to use that potion. <laughs> oh, that's not the way in. Um, because I thought there was one more patch of grass, but here we are. We'll just skip the Pokemon Center for now. Go straight to the Pokemon Mart, because I think we have a package. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it from him? Yes, I will gladly take the package. Back down to Professor Oak. Alright, we're not even going to go to the Pokemon Center. Forget it. We don't need Pokemon Centers. We're just going to jump on down. Probably could have avoided that, but I didn't. It's fine. Don't have to avoid everything. Ooh, almost made it out. <laughs> Alright, another Rattata. Pretty good at this now. Level 7. It's a good level. Spirus, go! Alright, back in Hallett Town, we're going to deliver these Pokeballs to Professor Oak, and he will give us some good things. So here's Ulukak saying, what did you actually bring me here for? And Oak says, hey, uh... Fill in these encyclopedias. Need you to catch Pokemon and get their digital signatures. So, that's what I assume, because obviously he already knows what Pokemon are out there, but when we catch them, we can uh, get their digital signatures and they can get more information on them. That's what I think, anyway. Alright, thank you, Oak. We've got some Pokeballs. Now that we are done with our gopher task and have Pokeballs, we can actually start the Nuzlocke. We will begin. I'm gonna jump by Ulukak's sister's house because despite what he might say, she has something for us. A nice town map. We will want that. Thank you, Daisy. See you later. All right, now, now we are ready. Let's see. Shoop. No, nothing in that one. Here we go. <gasps> a Pidgey! I love Pidgeys. I'm so glad it wasn't a rat. <laughs> well, nothing wrong with rats, but I love Pidgey. Um, actually, we're going to try my tried and true go-to method of catching a Pokemon, which is throw a Pokeball at it right away. Oops, not a potion. A Pokeball, yep, just throw it. Right right first off. Bam. Nope, didn't work. Okay, so we'll actually have to tackle it and lower its abilities here. Uh, Pidgeys are not considered excellent in those locks, but they are not terrible either. Um, I know that they're pretty sturdy. Ooh, Spirus is getting... A little danger here. Here we go. Okay. Uh, do one Pokeball. This is dangerous. I might be. This is why I'm bad at Nuzlocke. I risk things. Um, Pidgeys are sturdy. They turn into sturdy little birds. Uh, they can take a hit and keep on coming. So I like sturdy ones. The name Pidgey probably derives from pigeon and pudgy. Based on its appearance, it is a pudgy little bird. Uh, the pidgey actually has more in common with the common sparrow or chickadee than a pigeon, though. 
and the dark mar eye markings are probably a nod to Egyptian gods Ra and Horus, who are often depicted with the head of a falcon, and they sport similar markings. But I'm going to run my thing here, and we'll get an air name. Air name. Air name. Come on. Why are there no air names? Here we go. Tumulus. I like that. Tumulus. Tumulus. It's like a tumultuous cumulus. <laughs> Tumulus. Okay. Pidgey's name is Tumulus. Let's take a look at Tumulus. Oops, that was weird. I'm not used to having the Pokedex yet. Okay, Tumulus. Tumulus is calm. I don't remember. I don't remember any of these. But Kenai is good. Uh, sure. This is why I'm bad at Nuzlocke's. I don't remember. I remember some of them. I remember, like, Adamant is good for attacking. I remember Timid is good for special attacking. I don't remember these things offhand. I should have a little chart up somewhere. Maybe next time. Alright. We're healed up. Let's see. Let's put Tumulus out in front. See what he can do for us. And we will see you on the flip side. scary. That was real scary. Alright. All right, I won't let it happen again. Can't, can't end this Nuzlocke before it starts. Gotta keep going. Oh dear. Oh, I didn't switch him out. Oh no! What did I do? Tumulus, run! Spirus, help! But there you go. Pidgey's hanging on despite difficulties. Ugh. There we go. Alright. up to level 6, and Spirus up to 8. That's pretty good. I don't want to get anyone over level 9, because we're going to have a rival battle on Route 22. Um, and next time, we will find out what awaits us in the grass here in Route 22. I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye! <laughs>